One, two, three, five. In 1962, the Beatles were a Liverpool bar band. Frida Kelly was a legal secretary who watched them play during her lunch hour. She was just 17. Once I saw them, that was it. What was it about them that was so different? It was their whole attitude, the way they were on stage. I got to know them very well because they lived near me. Brian Epstein, the Beatles' manager, knew she was a secretary and offered her a job. She said yes. But I didn't tell home because my father wasn't, uh, didn't approve the Beatles. So I kept it to myself and I handed in my notice in work and they didn't believe me because <laughs> they didn't know them. They'd never heard of them. And I explained and they said, oh, you'll be back within a year. And that's how it started, really. So the year turned into 10 years. Over time, they became the Fab Four, the world's most famous band. She became a trusted friend to all of them. On behalf of us all, I'd just like to say a great big thank you to our secretary, Frida Kelly. Hello, Frida! I did not know she was the Beatles' secretary until a few years ago. I knew Filmmaker Ryan White got to know Kelly while visiting relatives in Liverpool. I was really drawn to the idea of this girl who was picked for the job of a lifetime and thrown into this whirlwind and never tried to cash in and never sought out the fame. In fact, she sought out anonymity for the last 40 years. Two years ago, she finally sat down to tell her stories about Beatlemania in this new documentary called Good Old Frida. I, I was 17, so naturally I did have crushes on them. If Paul like looked nice or sang a song for me or something, like I was in love with Paul that day. If George offered me a lift home from work, well, I'd be in love with George that day, and I'd think, yeah, yeah, I definitely fancy George. Did you go out with any of them? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. <laughs> In 1963, Please Please Me became their first number one hit to top the British charts. She became their official fan club president. Silly me, I gave out my home address as the fan club address. And the postman knocked on the door and he said to me, who gave this address out? You've got 200 letters here. And I said, sorry, you know, we'll do it again time. <laughs> anyway, little did he know within Next few months, the Beatles became more famous, and instead of just 200 letters, they were coming in bundles, and those bundles came in sacks. So the van rolled up. How stupid, you know. <laughs> You're a teenager. I just didn't think. <laughs> she has unusual memories about each of them. You were fired by John Lennon? Yes. <laughs> Tell me that For story. about five minutes. He looked at me when I was only joking. I went, no, you weren't. And I went, oh, come on, Fred, stop messing. And I went, I'm not messing. And he said, I can't do me mail. I said, well, get down on your hands and knees and beg me to come back. And then he went, well, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you halfway. And I said, what's halfway? He said, if I get down on one knee. I went, go on then, that'll do. <laughs> so at least I've had John on one knee. <laughs> for a time, Beatles fans thought McCartney had got down on one knee for her too. Somebody saw us, and then it was, you know, I was marrying Paul. And then, you know, they got a quote, well, Paul McCartney is not marrying Frida Kelly. By the early 1970s, the Beatles' long and winding road had ended. But Kelly still had a fan club to run. You don't have a group anymore. Oh, well, I've still got four members, haven't I? She gave away boxes of memorabilia to fans. You gave away a fortune. Yeah, but you don't know it's a fortune. To me, it's all ended. Kelly started a new life and a family. She says her grandson, Niall, is the reason why she's finally telling her story. She still lives in Liverpool and works at a law firm. Still a secretary? Still a secretary for my sins, yes. <laughs> Do you miss the old days? No. I, you know, I like to think I've moved on. <laughs> We visited Strawberry Fields, New York's tribute to John Lennon in Central Park. Forty years later, Frida Kelly is also still a Beatles fan. Has it been fun to talk about, to, to remember? It has been fun to remember. And I know I got on with them well and everything. Um, 
but I was very, very lucky. And I actually got paid for it as well. <laughs>